Hey everyone, welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we'll be taking a look at the Nazgul, one sixth collectible action figure by Asmus Toys. The box is a gatefold design. The dominant matte black fades to a horizontal band of ghostly gray, evocative of the Wraith world as seen in the films. At its center, a glossy black silhouette of a Nazgul can be seen, encircled by familiar elvish runes that read in the black speech of Mordor, Ash Nazgdurbatluk. Ashk Naz Gimbatul Ash Naz Rakatuluk Ak Burzum Ishi Krimpatul The back of the box features an image from the film of a Nazgul in silhouette, mounted on his steed atop a miscloaked hill. Opening the gatefold reveals another image of the Nazgul and gives us a teaser of the figure itself protected there in its clamshell. Taking the top off of that clamshell reveals the Nazgul lying within, cloaked in black with hints of armor peeking through those ghastly robes. Flanking all of that nothingness under the hood are two pairs of gauntlet-clad swap-out hands. And in this smaller clamshell at the Nazgul's feet we find the Nazgul sword, the Witch King sword, and a Morgul blade. Taking the figure and accessories out of the box is really all it takes to make the figure look menacing. There's the Nazgul in the center, astride the Asmus Lord of the Rings base. To the right, we have the Witch King Sword, the Nazgul Sword, and the Morgul Blade. On the left, we can see the swap out hands, including a pair of gripping hands and a pair of relaxed hands. Taking a closer look at the Nazgul figure, you'll find that it's dominated by a complex, multi layered costume, marred here and there with hints of road mud and weathering. The hood is made of a linen material and is wrapped around a hollow, faceless head that rests on a single ball joint. Layered beneath the hood is the Nazgul's signature robe, sleeveless, spilling all the way down the back where we can increasingly detect a distinct three-dimensional pattern impressed in the linen fabric. Beneath that is a long sleeve tunic constructed of a tighter weave and of a slightly lighter shade. The next layer is a tabard, lighter still in shade than the outer layers, with a decorative pattern lining its borders. Girded around the wraith's waist is a faux leather belt from which you can hang the weapon of your choice, the Nazgul Sword or the Sword of the Witch King. The upper armor components hidden beneath the costume include Riri braces, coders, van braces, and gauntlets, all cast in a metal alloy. Similarly, the leg armor includes quizzes, polanes, greaves, and sabatons. And again, all of these components are cast in that same metal alloy. Moving on to articulation, as mentioned, the hollow head rests on a single jointed neck and will rotate as much as it should. Additionally, it will also look up a fair bit, look down quite a bit, and tilt from side to side. The shoulders will shrug, dip, press, and row, as well as provide over 90 degrees of lateral lift. Additionally, you can raise the arms anteriorly and posteriorly nearly 180 degrees. The typical break above the bicep will allow the arms to pivot there. And the double jointed elbow provides more than 90 degrees of flex. The torso will crunch to a remarkable degree. And will also arch a slight bit to the back. Torso twist easily hits 90 degrees in either direction. The legs will raise laterally about 45 degrees. And while anterior raise approaches 90 degrees, you'll get only about 15 degrees of posterior lift. The standard break at the thigh will allow the leg to pivot along the vertical axis and the knees allow the legs to bend well over 90 degrees. Finally, the foot will extend, contract, pronate, and supinate. Now for a closer look at these accessories, there are three weapons included with the Nazgul, a standard Nazgul sword, the Witch King sword, and a Morgul blade. Each blade is cast from a metal alloy with ornate details in the hilts. 
In addition to the gauntleted fists that come on the figure, you also have two additional pairs of gauntleted hands, a relaxed pair and a pair for gripping the weapons. And finally, here's a look at that included base with a Lord of the Rings logo atop it and its figure stand unique to the Asmus line of collectible figures. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Nazgul 1-6 collectible action figure by Asmus Toys from Lord of the Rings. Be sure to follow Unsealed and Revealed, Strike a Pose, and How to Be a Poser for even more six-scale shenanigans. If you'd like more information about this figure, follow the link below. And as always, don't forget to let your geek side show. Did you enjoy that video? Be sure to subscribe by hitting the S icon on your screen and click the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.